Okay, so uh, hi there YouTubers and uh, 3D Studio Max enthusiasts, welcome to my channel. In today's episode we're going to talk about the map channel. So yeah, we're going to create a similar wall like this with the graffitis on it. Probably some of you are gonna say, yeah, but it's, this is quite easy to do. You can just use a Corona decal and you can apply it really fast on the wall. But uh, the method that I'm going to show you today, it's uh, much easier and much faster than that. And uh, yeah, it's working the same as the, the decal. Actually, in my opinion, the people from Chaos group and from corona they just took this method of map channels and just they just implemented as a corona decal which was already existing in 3d studio max before so if you guys are ready and you really want to find how to make a wall like this and how to use this method also on creating more better materials in the future and uh, yeah you want to see how to do all of this if you guys are ready let's just jump in Okay, so let's start. For those who want to follow this video, they can just download this from my Patreon, the whole scene. Of course, you need the, the vegetation and the, the, the vegetation is just a simple grass from forest pack. You can use anything else. The materials are from Corona Render, so you can have them from there and the trees are from Corona Cosmos. So you can get everything from Corona Cosmos also, also the grass. So yeah, let's start. For So for this video, I'm going to use some uh, textures that uh, I have here. Uh, you can download any textures from the internet uh, as long as they are PNG and they have uh, an alpha channel. You can use anything from there. I will just uh, so yeah. If you go to Google and you say graffiti, so yeah, on the nicepng.com. As you can see, if you write graffiti here, you're gonna find many different uh, graffitis that you can download. Yeah, this one is one of is one of the ones that uh, we're going to use. So yeah, I have a couple of different ones here. I'm just gonna apply them one by one to see exactly how the map channel is actually working. This wall is composed by two materials. We have here the brick and here we have some concrete. So I created a material with the concrete and the brick from the Corona material library from here I took the, this concrete and uh, the brick as you can see here yes as I said I have two materials one is the concrete is the top part as you can see here and the other one is the the brick which is in the slot number two it's a multi sub object it has two uh, materials and uh, this object is made with a sweep and of course you can download all of this from uh, my patreon and it has general mapping coordinates and real world map size okay so let's create the first uh, textures I'm just gonna bring here um, so to do all of this uh, it's quite easy we're going to use a composite material which is this one and I'm gonna plug in this into my base color and then my brick into here and as you can see everything stays exactly the same and then what we're gonna do next I'm gonna add another material in here so as you can see it's all normal it's here you have some different types of blending options but we're not i'm not gonna talk about those i'm gonna create a corona pit map and go to my map channel and bring my first texture which is this graffiti and i'm gonna plug this into my layer 2 and as you can see the brick is here and it's in on map channel number one and the corona bitmap it's on map channel number one also and i'm gonna use map channel number two so uh, right now my object i'm gonna apply a new v map on a box so you can see it and uh, in the moment that i plugged in my my map my image became a little bit dark and this is happening because my image which which is a png in the channel outputs doesn't have an alpha so the alpha is right now none so what i can do i can go here and say image alpha so right now the png because it already has an alpha inside if you don't know what an alpha is i'm gonna explain you right away so i'm gonna open the image in photoshop so this is my png and if i select it as you can see it means so this checkboard from the back it means that this image has an alpha so it's alone on the, the graffiti is alone in the image so what it means is for example if you have a jpeg and i'm just gonna add the color in the background so this is a jpeg so right now if i move the image the image the graffiti with the background they are together and here i have the, the foreground which is my graffiti and the background 
and they are all separated. So this is the difference. So for example, here on this image, if in this case, let's say this is a JPEG and I want to make an alpha for this image, I need to go here and make a selection, go to my original image and then click on this. And now I just created an alpha and this is my alpha image. So a PNG or a TGA or a TIFF, it's coming with this alpha. Sometimes if it's saved like that, it can come with an alpha inside the image. So this is why here I need to go and tell to the channel outputs to 3D Studio Max, in this case to this Corona bitmap, that, that my image has an alpha and it has an image alpha. And so in that moment, my break is becoming uh, the same color as before because I don't have my image yet on my brick. So to apply my image, this one on the brick, you need to go here and apply another UV map. So I'm just gonna take this one and up paste it here and to this UV map I'm just gonna use it as a planner for now and I need to tell him that I want to use the map channel number two so here I have the map channel number one for this image sorry for this texture and for this one I have map channel number two so I'm going here and with planner I'm saying my planner number two and because this is a real world map size I can take it out and I can go to top and rotate my only my UV map go back to my camera and try to scale it And now in here, I'm going to have my map channel number two and I have my, my graffiti on it. But right now, as you can see, the graffiti is getting uh, everywhere on this, uh, on this brick. And all of that is happening because here on the tiling mode, I have repeat tiling for my graffiti. So if I take the tiling out, now I have only my graffiti uh, where my UVV is. So, and this way I can move my UVV anywhere. But for example here, if I want to have my graffiti also on the concrete part, I need to add my texture also there. So if I go back to my material here and this is my concrete, I can add, make a copy with shift for this uh, composite, add my composite here. and add my uh, texture for the concrete in the layer number one. And right now the program will understand that I'm using also a composite and I can move it also here. So now I'm gonna have it everywhere. So the cool part about this uh, method of using uh, the map channel inside 3D Studio Max is the fact that you don't need to use the Corona decal or V-Ray decal in, depends, depending on the case or F-Storm decal. So this is how you actually need to use it in 3D Studio max and if i want to bring more textures here it's quite easy i can just go on my composite and add let's say a couple of different more textures with different graffitis so let's bring like three of them good just i just made copies of all of this And now I'm just gonna bring uh, different textures for each of them. And uh, yeah, let's see oh, a different one. This one, for example, here, I will not have it also on the top part for now. As you can see, I have two of them. Right now is using the both images because they are both in the same channel on the map channel number two. So if I want to have them uh, one in top of each other, I need to put this in a different channel, the map channel number three. And then here I need to apply another UV map just use it as a planner and I need to rotate this, this UV map 90 degrees and then just uh, scale it and put the, all of this to map channel number three. here I can also see it so now I have another graffiti on my wall so if I want to bring more of course I'm gonna use the same method but the cool fact is that 
if you want you can also bring a bump for this texture so for example this is working with a normal i can create another composite here so i take the composite from here on the general and i add this to my bump So this is the bump for the for the brick and now I want to bring more so I'm gonna make another texture I'm gonna bring this here and I'm gonna this is already on the map channel number two as you can see here so that is fine so now probably you don't really see it in here but you have also the bump for this texture in here so yeah you can also add this if you want on the displays but this means oh, that you need to create a composite also for the display. So I'm gonna go with the same one and bring here on the layer one, the displays. This can go here. And now I have also a displays for my graffiti. So as you can see, the one that it's in the back doesn't have a displays and the one that it's in the front, it has a displays. So, so yeah, this is a quite a powerful tool. It can help you to add a lot of details on your scenes and to add some extra stuff to create uh, for example when you have patterns that are getting repeated you can break those patterns by adding another layer on top of them and creating some extra details so yeah this was the, the lesson of today i hope you guys liked it it's quite a simple thing for me i never understood exactly why the corona decal was actually invented here and added as an option because when you have this directly in 3 studio max you don't really need it of course it's much easier and faster to create a decal and to apply a texture very fast but uh, yeah this method which is the original one it's not taking that long and uh, yeah it can be very very helpful so in case uh, you guys uh, like this video please don't forget to subscribe and uh, for those who want to download who want to follow this uh, and want to download everything they can just download it from my patreon it's quite simple you're gonna find the link in the description and uh, yeah the next video that i'm creating i'm already working on it it's uh, quite big and it's gonna be an exterior scene with a lot of uh, information and we're gonna create a scene from zero until the end it's gonna have a couple of hours probably and um, yeah until then please don't forget to subscribe in case you didn't do it already thumbs up if you like this video and see you in the next one bye